Hello, welcome to our sales pitch. This is Group Arms and we're presenting our active suspension off-road ambulance. So let me introduce the problem. In a search and rescue scenario, hikers may find themselves stranded on rough terrain with no paved roads within miles of the location. In these situations, helicopter transports are often necessary. However, these trips are often prohibitively expensive. Operational costs of helicopter airlifts are around $10,000, while the patient usually ends up footing a bill of over $40,000. Additionally, in higher altitude situations, helicopters may be unable to reach the patient. Typical off-road suspensions on 4x4 vehicles are inadequate for this terrain and will provide an extremely uncomfortable ride to the patient. Specialized off-road vehicles are often very expensive and not flexible in application. Here's where our product comes in. Our off-road ambulance trailer utilizes an active suspension system to provide a significantly cheaper alternative by being able to be pulled by many existing off-road vehicle platforms. The vehicle is capable of easily traversing off-road terrain that no regular ambulance would be able to even attempt to surmount, all while greatly reducing vibrations and keeping the platform level for optimal patient comfort and ease of performing medical care. Here you can see the visualizations of the interior space on the vehicle using a space frame chassis to significantly save weight and optimize components to reduce towing weight and reduce costs. The active, active suspension can also be seen working on the left, with its full range of travel being utilized, equating to a maximum 24 inches, a value greatly exceeding even the most capable off-road vehicle. It can also be seen to fit a paramedic as well as a gurney and patient easily with ample interior space, a defibrillator, and first aid tools. Here are the design specifications of our vehicle as well. The active suspension system allows for flexible damping characteristics. Typical passive suspensions are only optimized for a few terrain conditions. However, with our active actuation, we're able to alter our suspension characteristics on the fly, allowing for impressive acceleration mitigation in a wide variety of circumstances. Our vehicle is quite affordable, coming in at only $16,424 with minimal operational costs and maintenance. It utilizes a standardized towing hitch, and since our vehicle is very light, around one ton loaded with people, it classifies as light duty and therefore is able to be pulled by a wide variety of vehicles. The large amount of travel also allows for great flexibility in operational environments, and in the event of a total system failure, we still have a passive suspension system optimized for our operating environments. Our simulations have shown that the acceleration is reduced by almost 78% over regular ambulances when the after suspension is working, and the passive suspension system is still superior, showing a 55% improvement over, off -road, off over road ambulances according to ISO 2631. We also have an integrated brake by wire system to improve our stopping power for safety. In terms of our method of operation, um, this is the basic operation. Number one, we use a terrain mapping algorithm that reads ladder data and creates a map of our terrain. The car then uses wheel data to predict its path through that terrain and estimate height. The car then calculates the optimal actuator position to the actuator and then adjusts the height of each wheel accordingly. On our right, you can see our terrain map working perfectly, accurately predicting our terrain and showing the wheel uh, location with the yellow and purple lines. Here you can see how our system performs uh, and in terms of acceleration mitigation. So on our right, you can see the graph showing our comparison of passive and active suspension. As you can see, the passive suspension is greatly, or the acceleration is much higher than the active suspension. And the active suspension is showing almost a 90% reduction in vibration compared to the passive system. This correlates to a three times faster speed on the same terrain for active versus passive suspension vehicle. On our left is a system working only with passive suspension and the active suspension basically allows this vehicle to be able to traverse this terrain with much higher speeds as well as much higher stability, allowing for the patient to be comfortable and for the patient to be safely operated on.